Welcome back to Talking Marvel, and in this video I'll be breaking down who are going to be the Guardians of the Galaxy members being killed off in their third and final movie. So from the trailers, it appears as though the film is partially an origin story for Rocket, as we will get to see how he was created, where, and by whom. Spoiler, if you don't already know from Rocket's creator being all over the trailers, it's the High Evolutionary. But all the members of the Guardians of the Galaxy who are alive are Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket, Groot, Mantis, Nebula, Kraglin, and Cosmo. Not all nine of them are going to make it out, so let's begin with the easiest member to pick out, Drax. Dave Bautista has already confirmed that he will be making his final appearance in the MCU as Drax and pursuing other opportunities. Since the only people he has are the Guardians and he's talked about dying multiple times to finally be with his family, the most likely end for him is to fall in battle and be at peace with his death. But with so much chemistry with Mantis, does that mean she'll also be killed off? I don't believe so, as it was revealed in the Guardians holiday special that she and Star-Lord are half-brother and sister. She will still have someone, and they can't kill everyone in the Guardians movie. Or can they? Wouldn't that be a turn of events? Only Adam Warlock walks out of the movie alive. Not many times do we see the villain win, or there be so many big casualties. And the last time we did was Infinity War, one of the best and unique of all the MCU movies. Now that we got Drax and Mantis out of the way, who else is bound to meet their demise? By asking that question, we need to look at who will actually have a part to play in the future of the MCU. We know Adam Warlock is guaranteed to be a part of the future, so we can look at who connects to him. We also have to think about the other possibility instead of death or appearing in future movies, and that's just a retirement of sorts. A character or two could go and do their own thing after the trilogy ends and some of the members die. Who I'm thinking of here are Gamora and Nebula. Gamora more so as she has less of a connection to the group and she already played a big role in the MCU as part of the end of the Infinity Saga. It depends on how the perceived love triangle is going to work out between Star-Lord, Gamora, and Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but that can determine where each of them heads after the movie. The reason I believe there is going to be more than one death is because of the scene shown in the trailer of Mantis crying, Gamora in shock, Nebula looking down as if away from a dark moment, and Drax also having the same expression as Gamora. I wouldn't think much of this if Drax wasn't there because I would think it was his death. But since he's here and we also see a scene of Star-Lord being a hero, it could be his death or possible death. The movie seems to be partially centered around Rocket and has a sad feel to it, so I'm betting that Marvel is using this to throw us off. It would make sense by what we've been shown in their calculated order in the trailers that Rocket will be someone who dies to defeat his creator. But like Nebula, they were key pieces that stuck around through the snap and gained deeper connections with the Avengers there setting up easier future team-ups. We haven't yet seen Groot go full circle back to his older looking form, so I have a feeling that when that happens, that will be his final MCU appearance. He is always with Rocket, and as we are led to believe Groot is the last or only known member of his species, it would be a big kill. We've already seen him sacrifice himself and survive, so what could really kill him in this movie? Kraglin and Cosmo are less known and less important members of the team, so it's hard to believe either of them will die in this movie, especially not Cosmo, who has pups. From what we've seen of Kraglin, he's just been a minor character who hangs around the ship and isn't a part of the action. When the Guardians end, it is very possible that we see him go off and partially do his own thing. So after looking at all nine members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, the member that will die is Drax, but the other member that I think has the potential to is Star-Lord. Marvel likes to throw us off, but I also wouldn't be surprised if Mantis, Gamora, Rocket, or Kraglin also die. Mantis may lose both people closest to her if Drax and Quill die. I don't see much of a use for Gamora anymore in the MCU if Star-Lord is dead. The movie could give us exactly what it's hinting at with a rocket death, and Kraglin wouldn't much be missed, especially if there's no Guardian's ship to fly around and man. Who do you think will die and why? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to sub for more weekly content if you enjoyed this video.